Hi friends, I am Dr. Gaurav Agrawal, working as a pediatric cardiologist at Children's Heart Care Delhi. Today I will discuss a common hole that we see routinely in day-to-day -day practice is known as ostium secundum atrial subtrade defect. As we know that there are four chambers in the heart, upper two chambers are known as the atrias and lower two chambers are known as the ventricles. Between two upper chambers there is a wall that is known as the atrial septum. In the middle part of this, if there is a hole in it, it is known as the ostium secundum atrial septal defect. This hole is present in every fetus. Whosoever is in pregnancy state will have this type of hole. Without this type of hole, fetus cannot survive. As you are aware that some fetuses goes into miscarriage. That can be one of the reasons the hole is very small or either it is not formed. In that case, fetus is not survived. After delivery, every child who is getting delivered will have this hole. But the size of this ostium secundum ASD is generally 3 to 5 mm. But sometimes the hole of this ASD can be more than 8 mm in size. It can be in the form of 10 mm, 12 mm, 15 mm, 20 mm, whatever. Size, uh, if the size is more than 8 mm, then 80 to 85 percent chances are there that a hole will not close spontaneously. If the size is less than 8, 8 mm, the chances are very high that it will close spontaneously within one year of life. Now, if that uh, patient delivered with a large ASD, what will be the symptoms of the atrial septal defect? The generally, in 95 to 97% of the times, the patient will be asymptomatic. Then how will you come to know the child is having some form of heart disease? Your local pediatrician or physician will auscultate here, will found a sound known as the atrial septal defect murmur. And then he or she will refer to your nearest pediatric cardiologist, he will do the echo and will let you know that child is having a hole in the heart known as the ostium secundum atrial septal defect. In 3 to 5 percent of the cases, the child may present in the form of heart failure like features especially in the first year of life and, uh, and it can be in the form of difficulty in feeding, difficulty in breathing, poor weight gain etc. As I told you in 95 to 97 percent of the times, patient will be asymptomatic. Now question comes, how do we diagnose this type of atrial septal defect? Supportive investigation can be in the form of chest x-ray and ECG, but the definitive investigation of choice is by doing pediatric echocardiography from the chest of the baby. By doing this test, almost 100% of the ASG we can diagnose. In rare circumstances when the child is bigger, adolescent or adult, we can suspect on transthoracic echocardiography the child is having some form of heart hole in the heart. But for assessing the hole in detail, we have to do a test known as the transesophageal echocardiography in which we enter, we put a probe through the mouth into the esophagus so that the heart will come close to the probe and we can assess almost 100% of the atrial septal defect by doing transesophageal echocardiography with precise diagnosis. And we can assess the margins of the hole and other things whether the hole is suitable for device closure or not. Rarely if the patient is bigger enough, then we have to conduct a test, diagnostic test known as the cardiac catheterization in which we have to assess the pressures in the different chambers of the heart for assessing whether the patient is still operable or not. Rarely we have to perform the CT scan or MRI scan of the heart, but nowadays we are not doing these two tests for assessing the atrial septal defect. Now what is the treatment of ostium secundum atrial septal defect? As I told you, if the size of the hole is less than 8 mm, 80 to 85 percent of the hole will close spontaneously by one year of age and rest will not close or can increase in the size also. If the size of the hole is more than 8 mm along with dilatation of the right sided cardiac chambers, then we have to close this hole. Ideal time of closure of this hole is between 2 to 4 years of age. 80 to 85 percent of the ostium secundum ASD can be closed in the cardiac cath lab by angiography or laser technique. We have to enter into the heart from the thigh vessels, we enter into the heart. We put a device as shown in this picture across this hole. We can close this hole without any cut on the chest of the patient. In 15 to 20 percent of the cases, the other options can be when the device is not possible. Either we have to do the open heart surgery or we have to do the minimal invasive cardiac surgery. We have to make the two to three holes on the right side of the chest. We enter into the heart by the uh, laparoscopic technique. 
and we close this hole also. But uh, minimal hemorrhagic cardiac surgery is not possible in small children. The, the weight of the child should be more than 20 to 25 kg. So the message by this video is whenever there is a diagnosis of osteum secundum ASD, we can close this hole by uh, 2 to 4 years of ideal time is that and we can close this hole by uh, angiographic technique also. Please don't delay the treatment after 4 years. As the time will progress, the chances of getting complications are very high, especially around 15 to 25 years of age. So as soon as the diagnosis is there, we should close this hole by any method, whichever is suitable for that hole. For more detail, you can log into my website, childrenheartcare.com. Thank you very much.